So now that we've tried to manipulate our data in the database, before we move on, I just want to show you this in an actual very basic Express application, just to give the basic understanding of Express before we make an endpoint. Now, I've opened Express here. I just found expressjs.com. And in here, you can find a getting started guide called Hello World. And if you read the, this, it's kind of like the one we did before, but not quite. It's almost the same like the one we did with the node, but now Express starts helping us making some get request, post request, put request, and delete requests. So we're going to try and work with that. The first thing I'll do is just to take this hello world example and put it into our old, we had this server JS files in the JS web apps, if you remember. So I just remove everything here and paste this in instead. Now I wanna go to port 9000 again, that's the one I like. Um, and <clears throat> I'm going to save this, and then I'm going to go into my console to get it started. So the way you started it was writing node and server. That was the name of my file, server.js. So let me press enter. Now I get an issue. I get an exception saying I don't know Express. So to get this, let's go back to the page because this is because we haven't downloaded it from this NPM library. So how are we going to do that? Well, there's also an installation guide here. So let me open that one and it says, to do this, we need to say install NPM and save it. So you can do this if you want to save it directly inside the dependencies list. And that's a list of all the required dependencies for your project. And you can also do it like this and say, I only want it for this project. I don't want to save it so that other people's, when they use my project, will get it automatically. They'll have to run this command themselves. But we want to do this because we want, if other people take my project and try to do an NPM install, it should automatically download this dependency. So that's what dependencies is about. And we'll get, we'll see a lot of dependencies as we move along. What I want to do now is launch this command. I just copied it and it says npm. That's, remember that's the package management system node provides where we can download different packages, install, express, and save it inside a file. And that file is called package.json. So let's try and do this and see what happens. See if it takes a bit of time here tries to download everything and you'll notice that I'm getting in my package here I'm getting something called node modules right and node modules that's actually where it'll automatically put in Express and Express needs all these guys to work properly so I got Express but then I also got all these other libraries from NPM now the reason for that is that every project on NPM requires or is dependent on other projects. That's the community of that. That's the open source community where we help each other out. So if maybe somebody figured out how to do some really cool uh, cookie handling and then they shared it with others. And then somebody said, okay, I can make something that uses the cookie handling. And that'll be Express, right? So people use each other's help to build this beautiful setup. Okay, back to Express. Let's try again now after I did this and see if I can now run my server. And as you'll see, there's a lot of things happening here. Huge amount of packages downloaded. So now I'll write again, node server. And now it's listening on port 9000. Let's see if it actually does something. Localhost 9000, enter. And now it says, hello world. So awesome. Now I have access to my um, express. But notice, compared to the old code, I'll just undo this to show you the old code. There we go. Let me just outcome this old code just to show you the difference. So before we had something saying request response and every time we got any request, we just responded with um, a simple content type. Now we want to actually let Express handle this to say, is it a get request and call this guy? Let's try and do it with a post request. How would that look? Well, that would look like this. So is it a post request? then you should do this one instead and we'll just write post here like this if it's an update request then it's what we call the put request i'll show you all this running in a second um, puts and then we'll do the same with the delete request which will then say delete here in the end just to show you they're different okay now 
So now it's all changed and we have four different items here now. We can get, post, put and delete something. And of course we need to change this to handle data in the Mongo if we wanted to do it for real. But I just want to show you the way that Express works compared to the Node one. Where in the old way we would have to figure out what kind of request were we actually getting, what was the URL it was actually hitting, etc. etc. So we had to do it a different way. Okay, so let's try and see this uh, guy working. First, again, since we're using the old application now, we have to restart everything to make it work. And now I actually did it at 3000. I don't want that, I want it at 9000. So let's just stop this, start it again, and now it's at 9000. Great. Let's try and use Postman and do a delete. Oh, hello world, delete. Okay, let's try and do a post from Postman. Oop, hello world post. So it's hitting the different commands here. Oop, hello world put. But what if I wanted to do it for users like this? Let me try and shoot this put. Oh, can I find users? Oh, it can't find that slash. Let's try and go in here. It's that simple that I just write slash users and then it'll actually look for that URL. Let me try with post and write slash users here as well. And then I'll just to show you on the get, I'll write slash employees. I know that's not how it would work. It would be users all the way down, right? Because I wanted to be able to do the full REST API for a user. But I'm just, for the fun of it, I'm just going to do it like this. So let's uh, see Postman in action again. I'll do slash users. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to restart it. Ah, oh, man. Uh, restart node, I'm just used to the other one doing it for me. There we go. So now I can actually do it for users and I can do the same for the post. But if I do it for the get, you'll see I get an error again. We don't know anything about slash users. Okay, what about slash employees? Do an enter, hello world, that's running. Awesome. So that's kind of what Express does for you. That's one of the things it does. It can handle cookies for you. It can. There's a huge library of helper things that Express can do for you to unwrap this envelope we're getting from the client and that's what we're going to look into, okay? That's the power of Express. I just wanted to show you it on its own before we started diving into a real example with Express. So we'll do that next time.